Thin bodies, flawless skin, filters, Photoshop. These ideal beauty standards are romanticized through Instagram, set in place by celebrity status, and sought out by an impressionable society. Beauty standards created by social media are, more often than not, realistically unachievable. Throughout our research, we begin to understand the raw reality behind seemingly flawless photos and just how dangerous these online adaptations can be for young women on social media. In this video, we let women in college speak vulnerably and honestly about the ways in which they've been affected by Instagram and how this daily influence allows their self-worth to be negatively impacted when comparing their looks and lifestyle to others on the app. Instagram has created unrealistic beauty standards that have normalized plastic surgery, excess photo editing, and the effort to be perfect all the time. Celebrities, influencers, and companies have played an equal part in defining the beauty standards today, leaving young, impressionable women feeling like they have to conform to these beauty standards in order to be beautiful. Instagram has been used as a tool to push conformity amongst women to an incredible extent. Every girl on Instagram poses the same, wears similar clothes and makeup, and edits their photos the same because they all face the pressure of fitting into the unrealistic beauty standards created by social media. To get an idea of how young women are impacted by Instagram, we created a Google form asking questions regarding personal impact on self-image due to the use of Instagram, as well as asking to define beauty and to answer whether or not she feels beautiful. We ask that only young identifying women between the ages of 17 and 24 complete the form. We got a total of 121 powerful responses. What is your definition of beautiful? Not, not just confident in how they look on the outside, but who they are on the inside, what their values are, what they hold dearest to them. It's just at the end of the day, like, there's things that you can't change about yourself and you have to be okay with that. And you have to still think that you're a beautiful. Beauty physically, but beauty in like experiences in life itself. And I think if we put one definition on it, it's gonna just like, I don't know. It's just like not right because beauty is different. Everyone like beauty is in the eyes of the, the holder, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. It's so weird thinking about my own definition of beautiful, like when I was just thinking about like comparing myself to others, because like it's like the complete opposite of that. It's essentially like if you think that you are beautiful, mm -hmm. it's like you feel like beauty is when you feel beautiful. If you're a good person, you're beautiful inside and it'll show through to the outside. With like how you are, like your mental state and like physically. Mm -hmm. So like that's when you'll feel beautiful, like when you're happy with it. According to our Google form, when asked if and how Instagram has impacted the way women view themselves, 59% of women said it impacted them negatively, 21% said it impacted them positively, 15% said it was both depending on who they follow. Has Instagram had a negative or positive impact on your self-image? I would say it's, it's mostly negative just because I know that I'm healthy the way I am and I'm good the way I am, but I still look towards um, reaching an Instagram, a perfect Instagram. And I would say negatively just because if I didn't have all these like beautiful people that I see on a daily basis or see the like best parts of their lives all the time, then I wouldn't feel less than um, because I know when I don't go on Instagram, I feel a little better, like I feel more self-worth, which is like really bad, but it's just, you, it's hard not to compare yourself, so it definitely influences me. I think it could be negative, but I, I've made it into like more of a positive like spin, I guess. Like I like make sure like that I follow people that make me feel really good and that like I think will make me better. According to our Google form, 96.7% of women admitted to comparing themselves to others on Instagram. When asked if this comparison is more empowering or negative, 44% of women said it made them want to change how they appear. 9% said it was empowering and 41% said it was both. When investigating the role influencers and celebrities play in this comparison, 
77% of women said that influencers and celebrities impacted their self-image. Beauty standards, comparing yourself to others. I have compared myself to others because I'm like, oh, I'm like not thinner or like, yeah. why is my skin not as good? You know, right. things like natural. that. Natural. Just, yeah. yeah, like natural things. Like our generation was growing up in the Instagram world. With Instagram, we give ourselves the chance to compare ourselves to others. Being like Photoshop pictures of people definitely made me think like, oh, I need to work out and be as thin as her. I need to have like abs and like uh, perfect skin. That was a big one because I had a ton of acne growing up. I still do. But like, <laughs> but now I think um, I'm definitely more secure in myself. Yes, I have compared myself and it makes me want to change how I look. Like it makes me want to like be skinnier mm -hmm. and like makes me want to like have a bigger butt and like have a nicer body um, and like, you know, be like delicious and stuff. <laughs> but, like I can't, you know, it's, yeah. it's not realistic most of the time. When asked if based on the beauty standards you constantly see set by those you follow on Instagram, what do you consider yourself beautiful? Around 60% of women answered yes while around 40% answered no. Do you think that you are beautiful? Ooh. <laughs> I, that's a hard question yeah. because I am like in, like even recently, like I'm having trouble like telling myself that I'm beautiful and I've always had that problem mm -hmm. because I've compared myself so much to like social media influencers, like specifically. <gasps> what the heck? That's <laughs> Um, that's a really tough one. I think I am a little bit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I'm getting there specifically with the inside. That's like a hard question. I think I do have some parts of me. Um, <laughs> you know, got your moments. Yeah, I definitely think I'm beautiful. <laughs> I try and um, manifest that belief. Yeah. With so many young women having their self-image negatively impacted by the people they follow, it would be very beneficial to reconsider who you follow. Following other women who challenge cultural hegemony and the dominant beauty standard can and will lead to empowerment for impressionable young women. Ladies, there's literally five seconds between this and this. And if you think you're the only one that has this when you sit down, you're not. The person sitting next to you at work has it, that girl on the treadmill next to you has it too, and also that fitness star that you see who flexes her abs every other day, she has it too. You are not alone. There's this. So stop comparing yourself to the stranger on the internet and don't let it ruin your day. There's so many other things you could be worried about. So go have a good day. Thank you to all the beautiful women who participated in our study. Clearly Instagram has had a profound impact on the way we see ourselves. Part of the reason this is the case is because we have all had Instagram and social media throughout normal development of self-concept and esteem. It has changed the way we culturally define beauty standards, and not in a good way. Instagram is here to stay. Think about who you follow and why, and free yourself from toxic, unattainable standards. Try to separate your self-image from the internet you. You are beautiful and unique in your own special way and nothing you see on social media should take that from you.